Welcome back everyone to Gunpoint, the little game by uh, Suspicious Games, and we have two missions available to us. We have uh, Gessler, Industrial Espionage, Need a Pro for some Deniable Ops Work, Disgusting Bay, at 100. You're right, that is disgusting, because underneath that there's Intex, Miss Collins, it's Katie again. I think we need to get a hold of Jackson's incriminating recording. Let me know if you're up for it, thanks. Uh, and we do have a bit of cash, $305 left, and an upgrade, which we shall put again into our bullfrog strength. We don't have to worry too much about the charge-up time right now, um, and more or less anything that we need to do quickly can just be straight up, so I don't think we need to worry about the uh, charge-up time just yet. Um, and then meanwhile, we have to worry about what we are going to do with regards to these other upgrades. So I'm thinking... We shall probably wait for... Hmm, the Hush Cracker could be useful, but I think we'll wait for the Prank Spasm. Because uh, that is actually non-lethal. So let's work our way to that with Collins. Let's see what she has for us. I'd really like to know what's on that recording. I don't want to get Jackson arrested or anything, but if the recording proves he framed me, I really need to get it out of here. Agreed. What's the plan? Rook told me once that Intex placed all their dirty ops out of their office on Marlowe Street. If you can get in, the recording should be on the main terminal there. Hacker thing. Got it. Conway, thanks. Okay, disconnected. Right. So, we've got one room open already. So, let us do the interesting thing, and the first thing that we really want to be doing is disconnecting this light so that we can uh, find our way through it and actually I think we might be able to sneak right around this guy so unfortunately we can't link to his gun but if we unlink that and we link this to there. Uh, let me see if we link that to there as well. Then I think we might be able to drop down here, close the door, and then he might hit himself in the face with this. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> I didn't... I'm, I'm surprised that worked, but he is a witness now, but he's also completely unconscious, so that's all the better. So let's wiretap that. And that gives us access to the green circuit, so let me see. We've got a guy in here that we need to worry about. The door behind him is on the yellow circuit, as is the motion detector. Now we need to open this door here. And there isn't any way for us to get him to open it, by the looks of it. So what we shall do is... We shall deactivate the lights. Uh, let's see, we need to open this door. Uh, oh, but I did that the wrong way around. There. There we go. So up we come. Turn off the light there. And then he's going to go for a little bit of a wander. but he hasn't done what I thought he would do. So that is a bit of a problem. What I should have done is link it to there. Uh, but I can still connect this to here, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Wait for him to come past. Lock that door. Tap this. So there, the only connector we have to open this door is that piece of there with the motion detector. Let's head downstairs and connect these. There we go. And he's none the wiser. And, uh, uh, no, there isn't any way that we can trigger the light, trigger that uh, lights come to come back on. So we'll leave that for now. And no one knows you were there. Ninja, non-lethal. One witness out of two. 
No laptops. Oh, there was a laptop. Ah, we missed that. We could go like some extra cash that way. But we are up to 466. Did you find it? Gone, I'm afraid, but the server log showed it was once downloaded by Rook by a Rook IP. Oh, maybe that was Jackson. If you send me the IP, I might know which office it came from, and maybe we can get it from there. Disconnected. End call. Uh, okay, so now she's paying 400, but let's investigate this industrial espionage. Need a pro for some denial of the lobs work. And now let's... Now we, we're still a bit shy for the prank spasm, and we'll still be a bit shy for this, but it's worth investigating. Who are you? Come away, freelance espionage. Gessler, CEO, Intex. I need some serious. I need someone serious. Are you... I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Whatever, I make guns. Rook makes guns. Rook's working on some secret project she thinks is going to let her get around the gun ban, but and she doesn't think I know about it. You're gonna steal it. Where is it? I'm a mercenary, I can, I can worry about that later. Good point. First you're gonna find out where it is. Well, that's humble. She's outsourcing all the work to a company called TX Applications and keep it secret. Hit their admin center on Bellside's Way and search the main tunnel. I'll text you the code name you're looking for. Any special requests? Queen, for example? Bit of uh, Blue Monday, maybe? Look, I don't judge assets by how well they deliver onto their phones, so the jury's still out on you. If you want to impress me now or any time you're an intex up, don't leave witnesses. Anyone does see you, don't leave them breathing. Don't care how many hits it takes. Thanks for the tip. Disconnected. Okay. Oh, and we've got a brute here. Bulky guards. Can't be pinned down or bashed. Jumping into one staggers them a little. Okay, we've got red, so let's get this guy. Easy enough. Yeah, a good fall will usually take those guys down, so we need to get to the green line, which is, well, all the way up there, it would seem. We can go up one floor through here. Uh, but we need to make sure that this guy is looking the other way. We can't get to the circuit, so we'll use this. Unfortunately, they never investigate the uh, the lifts. I don't quite know why, but I'm not going to complain. Okay, get onto that circuit. Right, now we have access to the blue line. So, I'm going to connect that to there. That to the light. And... We'll go down here and connect this to there. Connect that off. Okay, so that will send him walking around. And then we can hit him with the... Uh... Uh, ooh, I can't tell this to call. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. Um... Okay, well, he's not looking, so... Let's have that call there. As long as he's not looking at me then I can sneak up behind him and do this. Okay. Let's go down. Disconnect that. There it goes. So it's two for two. Now, we need to get through to out of this. So let's just open up this trap door. Uh, oh wait, actually we can just use this motion detector. There we go. And just connect that to there. Hacking, what we got? Okay, objectives complete. Is there? There is a laptop up here. Ah, but this is closed. Okay, fix. Whoop, that was a complete mistake. And up we go. And that should get us our laptop that we're worried about. Uh, for God's sake, Fritz, how many times? We are not making anything for Rook. We would. She's great, but she hasn't asked us to, so please stop sending people to steal it. The first guy just got knocked out by a prank spasmed light switch, but the last two we had to kill. 
Reminder, my, com my company invents stuff that hurts people in weird ways. We're making it, we're a terrible place to rob, especially if we don't ha even have any, have what you're looking for. Mm, that's interesting to find out. Hello. Actually, wait, how do we prank spasm that guy? Hmm. Non-lethal, ghost, ninja. Thoughtful on the time burst, but we have to go back for the laptop. And we messed up a little bit. But anyways, we get money. Get it? Got it. The prototypes are here. Had a TX fabrication facility on Lyle. You'll hear from me when we're ready to move. Okay. Oh, Rook. Uh, let us see your cash. Yeah, there's the prank spasm. Oh, I see. So we can use the power sockets themselves. Prank spasm lets us electrify other things by running through them. Ah. Right, well, that's much more interesting, isn't it? And two upgrades. Nearly at max on the bullfrog jump. Let us go with the recording. I know which office downloaded the recording of Jackson. If you get it, you can have everything I have left. Hey, this could be really dangerous, so it's okay if you want to back out. This is my last chance, and it'll only work if that recording is what we hope it is. You just went three sentences with an exclamation mark, Katie. What's wrong? <laughs> it's just kind of scary in here. I've got no alibi, and I'm, I'm one of the only people who could have wiped that footage. And Jackson's word carries a lot of weight. I don't want to get you in trouble for a lost cause. It's not lost till I'm done, at which point, yeah, I might be doing lost. I don't get in trouble. Trouble gets in. Okay, that one's not going anywhere. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, good luck. Okay, optional objective, minimal violence. I sense they will put things in our way for that. Okay, we could jump in through this window, but without the hush cracker, that's going to attract some attention. On the other hand, by the looks of it, it would attract a lot less attention than going through this room. Going through this room. So, let's take a look. See, there's a bunch of windows over here. Uh, that guy's watching one. And it doesn't look like there's anything we can access outside, so yeah, I'll attack the blue circuit. and see what we can do. Look, that's not what I want to do. Damn it, we can't get enough velocity to get through that window. Okay. Well, she's not paying us for subtlety, but uh, maybe we can always get that guy to be... Okay. That guy is now suspicious, but boo to him. Down he goes. Good. Also, what are the Intex thinking? Hey Katie, not at all. You're asking all the right questions on what I still can't tell you any more about what I have planned for Project Lucina, but I can certainly make a good guess of what Intex are up to. I think we have a leak. And I think when they saw us buying up materials for some secret project, they spent a significant chunk of their significant capital trying to corner the market for those materials before we could go into production. You're right, I guess they got a better price than us. But since he's not married to the director of the company he bought them from, he might find himself financially disadvantaged should he ever regret purchasing a vast quantity of what turns out to be useless junk. Rook. Oh. Hey, that gets us a bunch of doors open, actually. Okay, let's get this door open. So we can get the blue line as well. Right, that gets us the that thing, that that gets us the majority of the of the lights as well. So we've got yellow down here, we've got uh, blue, and we've got red, and we need to get into here, which is difficult because we have to go through that room that we previously messed with the lighting on. So let's turn out the lights and disconnect that. Why isn't that doing anything? Hmm, that's bizarre. Okay, let's just do it right then. There we go. And he's not coming down, that's good. Okay, so now we should be able to sneak through here. And he'll be not the slightest wiser. Except apparently he can see in the dark, that's new. Didn't know that. Okay, let's wait for him passing. Going up. Uh, oh, and we've got a door here. I did not think about that. Uh, going back down. Okay, what can we link to that? Well, more or less just this again. And 
let's link it to this one as well. And let's link that light switch to there. Okay, there's the doors open. I will point out this nice little bit of set decoration at the bottom here, which appears to be a barrel-fed machine gun. I'm messing around if you're using that, I think. Okay, come on. And swiftly up. And light switch. That gets us all the way over. Perfect. Okay, main objective's complete. Uh, we could go through the wall, through the uh, window again, but I think we'll take the already broken window. I stand corrected, the now broken window. Tally ho! Okay, noise is fairly significant, non lethal violence achieved. Uh, few witnesses, but well, at least one of those we really couldn't really avoid. Uh, time not so fantastic, but we got a laptop. So that is $969. Did you get it? No look, somebody thoroughly scrubbed it from that machine. Oh, it was a long shot. I know, thanks for trying. I just don't know what to do now. I don't know why someone would not would want to frame me like this. I hate thinking someone hates me that much. They went to all that trouble to delete every copy of the security video that showed I wasn't there. You probably might want to know something about that. <laughs> it was dot .mov format. It was me. I didn't kill Selena, but the footage showed me there. I had to wipe it. And she's disconnected. Oh, joy. Okay, well now, we can finish that up, and let's get our prank spasm. And we're going to try this out. These the, the game allows you, on a lot of these things that you buy, a try-it-out mission. So let's, gonna give, let's give this a shot and see how it goes. So here we've got uh, one guy, and what we want to be doing is turning off the lights and electrifying the light switch that he stood next to. So, let's connect that, and that, and now, down he goes. Not a single worry in the world. So, let's hop along, grab the stuff we got here, prank spasm. Prank spasm? Okay, I think we're ready for, book, for, for production of the prank spasm. We managed to get around the grid safety protocols by remotely ramping down the voltage at the time of connection, then cracking it back when the main socket is activated. My only question is, why would anyone actually want this? As far as I can see, it could only ever be used to cause nasty accidents by passing a dangerous voltage through objects that are normally safe. What kind of client needs that? And did they pick the name? Okay. Well, that worked out quite nicely. Uh, oh, subway access to the left here. But we can't actually open this door. Yeah, never mind. Come here! Okay, so yeah, prank spasm, keeping. So, we can go back to Rook with the prototype, which you might as well because it's got 150 on it, so that's only going to stay low. Or we can go into the Collins case, uh, I'm going to leave that little plot line for a bit and go with Rook. I know you've taken a job to steal one of my prototypes. That doesn't sound like me. It's fine, you're freelance, you're under no obligation from to my company. I'm contacting you because the job was a ruse, the prototype you're looking for doesn't exist, we've left the lethal weapons market completely. That's interesting to hear. Maybe not. I'd actually like in Texas to steal something from us. Something with a tracker on it. I'd be interested to know where it ends up. And you're telling me this because... We honestly don't have one. We don't have anything you could steal that would be convincing to guess there was a prototype weapon. So, I need you to steal... What? Sorry? You you want me to steal a prototype weapon to pass off as your prototype weapon to give to Gessler so that you can track them? Okay then. <laughs> Interesting answers. I hate this job, I love this job. Oh, right, whatever. Very well, I'll go hate. Aren't you afraid I'll tell Gessler? No, go ahead. It'll sound exactly like a route to cover up our secret prototype. Okay, who am I stealing from? The same fabrication company who make our prototypes. They build them from for other clients too, and I want you to steal something they're making for the automotive industry. It won't look like a weapon, but Intex won't know what it is. That means I'll get to their labs, and we can trace it there. Okay, that's all makes perfect sense so far. 39 London Road. Any special requests? I'd appreciate it if you could keep filing this to a minimum. Get it. Option objective, check any laptops as well. Okay. 
Oh god. Right. This is going to be interesting. We've got three circuits here. And three patrolling guards, two of which are Mara brutes. And one guy down here for some unknown reason. Okay. Well, the first thing that we need to do is get this door open. So let's use this tracker. Okay. Get all of these circuits. Now, we've got a guy who keeps coming down here. I wonder if there's any way that we can knock this guy out. It's going to rely on very careful timing is the problem. Alternatively, we can just lock him in that room. So let's try that. Get that door open. And then, while he's coming back, we rewire it again, so that he gets stuck in there. And now we have the weird guard motion detector equivalent of a clock. So he opens that door, and another guy goes through, and another guy gets stuck, and we now have a yellow signal. Okay. So we'll use that to send a signal there, and then we can send a signal there. And that'll send him patrolling. I can see one laptop from here. Okay. Now let's have the motion detector trigger the light and trigger the drop. This is, I believe, the only way out of here. Come on. Damn, didn't think about that. I need to turn the lights off on his level. I didn't think that through at all. Come on. Oh, and that's opened the back door. Great. Oh, that's not so great, actually. Okay, well, he's opened the back door, which now means I don't necessarily have to uh, jump through the floor, although I actually... Might have to. No, I do. I don't because that's got the left. Well, that is there. That's good. Okay. Okay. The the number of noises of this guy with his gun is very worrying. Okay, and we've eliminated everybody on this floor, so we just need to. Trigger that light. There we go. So that he will then be blind and we won't have to worry about him causing issues for us. Okay. So there's our prototype. Now it's ours. So up we go and out the front door. <laughs> hey! What? <laughs> I'm sorry? Uh, I'm not quite sure what's happening there. I think what's happening is he's seeing me through the glass floor. Which is rather unsportsmanlike, but oh well. Okay. How many glass floors? Can you see me from here? No, thankfully. So let's get up here. Wait. Balls! That was completely the wrong decision. <laughs> wrong place to drop down. And... We have ourselves a stolen prototype. <laughs> hey, Gentlemen! Ghost! No one saw us and we didn't have to hurt anyone. Minimal bit of noise. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly. I think the noise might have been when we set up that alarm. Oh, and I missed the laptop, apparently. Oh, grade C. Oh. I don't know if I can go back and change that. Find it okay? What is this? 
some kind of electric accelerator. My R&D guys looked into something a bit like it for projectiles once. Drop in the trash can at Union, I'll have someone pick it up, plant the tracker, and move it to the TX facility. Okay then. So... Oh, hello, power capacity. Our prank spasm uses up a power charge, which we can replenish by uh, picking up batteries on the floor, look like that. Uh, but we can also increase the amount of power that we have. So, let's pick that up. And we can also pick up some more batteries. So currently our charge is uh, 4 out of 5, but we'll leave that for the time being. And I think that has been quite enough for one episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed this next, this uh, second episode of Gunpoint. And I shall catch you all next time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and or a favorite. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to be notified of future updates. You can also check out the website where most other content is uploaded. That's all for now, catch you later.